Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a pineapple jack-o'-lantern. Uh, these do exist in real life, people do do them. I'm, uh, you know, we have done it before. <laughs> but anyways, it's gonna be easy and for beginners. So if you're brand new to drawing, you're gonna love this, it's gonna be super simple. Grab a marker, any marker will do. I'm gonna be using this though, this is a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T artist pen, big brush. I'm gonna put the link in the description if you do want to buy one um there's a there's a lot of pros to this there's a, some cons to this as opposed to like a sharpie um so this costs around like seven dollars a sharpie is like um 50 cents right um this has no odor to it a sharpie does have an odor has a really strong smell and that smell is bad for your brain if you use it over the course of like um i guess like weeks or something like that or months so it's just you're inhaling in these fumes from a toxic chemical it's just bad um, but you can open the window and it should be okay uh, this also lasts about 10 times longer than a sharpie it lasts way longer it's got a better tip on it um, to use and that's just kind of the pros and cons of it again you can use anything though you can use some of those magic marker markers doesn't really matter so let's get started paper wise this is computer printing paper it's great for practice um, I've even, I'm even going to put the link to that in the description. It's just a giant stack, you know, for good practice. You can do it easily. Um, all right, let's get going. Enough of that. Let's do this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the shape of the pineapple itself. And I'm going to throw that curved shape at the top, keeping it kind of tight. Obviously, if I was drawing on a, a pumpkin, it'd be like, you know, much meatier, right? Uh, so ready? We're gonna pull a line downward here on the left side first. I'm gonna go over here. Down on this side. Alrighty. I'm gonna pull the line down here at the bottom. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the, I don't even know what you call that, the stem, the that top part of the pineapple. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna throw kind of a sharp shape like that. Sharp shape behind this. And then I'm gonna kind of almost like a ladder, keep it going upward. You can make yours as tall or as short as you want. You can make it like that, but I, I would say try to go at least three up. That's probably a better idea. Pull over here, down, right? Pulling from around the mid part of this other one, the opposite side one, go up until you're kind of have this little ladder going up there. I guess you could also, if you really wanted, you could pull one to the side over here side over here you're just pulling these kind of triangular shapes out of there and that's all it is really like if you look at this this is purely like a triangle kind of curved so to kind of judge the height based on how big you drew yours all right so let's go into this and draw the negative shapes of the face so right now i'm going to put a triangle for the eye, for one eye over here. And I'm gonna do another triangle on this side. Pull a triangle in the middle for the nose. I'm gonna go over here, start on this side of the smile, pull in, maybe take a pause there. Put a block shape, at least the bottom part of a block shape, and that's gonna be for the, one of the teeth. Continue that, 
Smile. Stop. Take a pause. Another block shape here for the other tooth. Continue that smile. Pull down. Curve. Pull up. Okay, so you have this smile. You can do one of a couple of things, but uh, I mean, you could fill that in or you could just leave it open. When you leave it open, because we're doing it black and white, we could just leave it open like that. The idea is that maybe, you, like, oh yeah, there'll be light coming through there, essentially. Like, that's the idea. But before we do that, I'm going to start the texture of this pineapple, because this isn't a pumpkin. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thin line diagonally. And I'm going to do like a dotted line. And I'm going to try to not put a lot of pressure on the marker I'm using so that there'll be a thinner line. This depends on the marker though. Some markers don't might, might not allow that. If you're using a pen, it's really not going to allow that. Um, but I'm going diagonally and like I'm drawing these lines, but I'm breaking those lines up. So essentially I'm just doing this like dotted line, almost like perforated paper, you know, when you're about to, you know, tear like a tear like a page out of a book or something and they, they prep the paper with these little like notches in them so you can just like tear it out really easy or like a page of a coloring book see that, that that's too big um and i am gonna do this for and the idea is you're indicating texture You're indicating that this is, you know, textured across without interfering totally with the features of the face that we have going on. If we were to draw thick lines across, I'm trying to speed this up because I'm taking so long, sorry. Uh, without indicating, okay, so if we do these like full blasts, just full lines across, you're never gonna really see the features of the face because um, it's gonna take away too much attention. This is taking longer than I thought, forgive me. I'm just gotta do it all the way across. All right, boom, 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 let's get this over with, come on. <laughs> now, after that, okay, I'm taking a uh, look at it. I'm gonna fill in the features and they will, you'll be able to see them in that case because those stand out first before you look at the dots in the face. The dots in the face are just like, they're not the first things you're supposed to look at. You're supposed to look at the overall image first, and then you're like, oh, okay, there's dots on it. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thicken the outline of most of this. See, this line is really thick here, but it's real thin up here, so I'm gonna even out the contour of most of this. If you did enjoy that, let me know through a thumbs up or please share the video. Every time you share the video, it brings a tremendous amount of, uh, I don't know, good vibes and boost to the channel. It's just amazing when you do share it. Uh, like it just, I don't know, it brings a lot of really, really cool vibes. Also, it just helps the algorithm. So if you just share it on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr, or uh, Pinterest, share it anywhere, or even just share it to one other human being, it just helps the channel out so much. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching and I will talk to you next time.